hello and welcome to this week tutorial in this week tutorial we'll be doing a design in the next week tutorial we'll be coding the design from this week so the design will be a landing page for an online learning platform as you can see the design right here i'll be using affinity designer for the designing of the website but you can use any other graphic designer or editor of your choice so first we have this background image and this section right here the title that's a learning skill anytime anywhere and we have this little section right here where we have top category for the graphic design web development finance and marketing and on this session right here we had a sign up form and then we have a tap and structure session I'm creating this uh, project so you can learn a little bit about CSS Flexbox to lay out our design. But that will be for next week. Also, I'll be using a remix icon, as you can see right here. If you want to use the same images I use in this tutorial, I'll be leaving a link in the description so you can download them. So, without further ado, let's get started so first we create a new document by going to file new and choose 1920 by 1080 the width to be 1920 and the height 1080 i'll choose a create outboard i will remove the include margin and then choose create and then we have this empty canvas right here i will use a white background color Right here. So first thing first, I want to set up the colors that we will use in the project. As you can see here, we have three main colors: this dark blue, that we, this dark orange, and this yellow right here, and this off white. So these are the has the small code for those color. I double click here and then gonna show me a paper where I can enter the head the small code. So here for the primary color, the dark blue is one one two D five one. Press enter and we have this close and then I we hold control and J in affinity designer to duplicate it. Now for the second color, the secondary type the yellow, then I double click here. And the uh, Heston decimal code is F one C four zero F. Press enter. We have that. Again, control J to duplicate. And then we do the bright orange which F seven five C zero three press enter we have it right here and then the last one control J again with the off white very light double click here and then choose F five F five F five press enter it's hard to see a little bit light, light, light gray. So I will create a color palette right here to save these colors so I can refer them to later on. So as you can see this icon right here, if you have a Fendi designer, click it and choose document palette. There are different between application document palette will, will only be available for this document right here application palette will be available on all documents so we choose the document palette for this example i will right click and choose our rename i will call it learn it center and then right here i will choose this icon right here we add it i will do it for the rest
so we have our colors so i can delete this so let's set up some guides 12 column guides so i go to view guide manager and right here in this column guide section i will choose for the column 12 for the gutter that the width between each as you can see right here i will choose 30 and then choose close now we have 12 grid count so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so each one of them is approximately 132.5 pixel so you need 12 of them now what design here we have a little bit of padding some space from the left and a little bit of space from the right to where you can see right here also right here some space from the top right here right here and then right here those are like 50 pixel so we need some ruler to mark that 50 pixel from the top so to set that up we go back to view guy and we start with our horizontal so for horizontal that are from the top to bottom so we add a new one so I will get a 50 50 pixels that's the top and then one from coming from the bottom so that one will be 10 80 minus 50 which we are we is a 1030 and you see it right here we close that one and then we need the one from the right so that's our vertical we need 50 so i put 50 right here and then we need another 50 from the right side so 19 20 minus 50 we have it right here we close that now we have two side this side right here to eighth column and this one to four column so let's do that i will choose a new layer inside here we call it hero I will grab my rectangle tool and from the top right here I go it's so this is it so one two three four five six seven eight is eight and then I, I just give it a random color for now so give it this color and uh, this side right here we take the other four so we add uh, another layer i'll cut this one sidebar As you can see there's no space right here so we need to remove this space so by adding since this is 30 pixel in between to add 15 to the width and 15 to the width for the other side also so for this one the 15 so 6 35 and drag that right here and this one Add another 15 plus 15 that means 1285 so now the space account I will give this one another color to the yellow right yellow so we have our hero right here this side right here and then we had our sidebar we consist of two different 
element that sign up and attack constructor uh, actually let me add make this one pin nine column and now just eight so nine column begin right here and add another 15 pixel this one 15 pixels So now this is nine column and this is three column. And for this one, for the sign up session, for its height right here, four twenty five. So I make this. I will divide our sidebar. So I will say Control, right click, choose duplicate right here. So duplicate this. And for this one, we call it sign up. And right here, I will call it tap instructor. And for this one, I will give it a height of 426. Give it a different color. So that's that. I save it. So that's that. So we need to add a another column right here, fifty. So we need to add a fifty pixel column right here. To do that, all we have to do grab this one. So grab its width right here. Copy this 472.5. So we go to view, guide manager, and for the vertical, we add another one. Now we need to. 190 sorry 1920 minus our width for this so for 72.5 so it's just right here just right here and then add 50 pesos to it 50 and then we have it right here so close this now we can start working now to I will remove the column uh, to do so I go to view this show column guy I will click it to hide them now we can start placing so working on the hero session so you can see right here is a background image and we have a overlay color on top of it so to do so i click on this rectangle that i created i choose this option right here it says insert inside selection and i choose this image that i have place image then I find my image. I'm looking for this one right here. Copy this. Place it right here. And now right now go. I do. I will duplicate the. Remove the image. And now we drag this opacity to 80 right here, and then I will move this inside of the rectangle so it create the background or the overlay right here. Now we add our test, so I choose the test tool, 
right learn new skill anytime anywhere I'll be using a a font called Aswad right here I will use the bold for the type bold for the width and for the size it will be 112 pixel so I'll put 112 press enter I press it right here Now you see it's too squished together, so I when I increase the line heights to increase the line heights in Affinity Designer, you just go to character, choose your character. If you don't have it, this character option, go to View Studio and choose right here character. So this side right here the leading over right so i'm gonna increase it a little bit such so as 140 that's some space now we choose our off white for the test color so we have this now that's our hero now we need the u This session and the top category. So we grab this test, duplicate it, bring it whole shift, bring it down right here. And now we say, I copy everything inside here. Top categories. And now we set font to be 40 pixel. Sorry, I wish to the move to 40 pixel from bold to just regular as a category session. Then we have the icon, the title, the category, and some information the courses and how many students. So down here. I'll go to my asset that's where I had the icon again I'm using now uh, icon library called remix I will leave a description of uh, I will leave a link in the description so you can see what you can get from so first I need that design so I'm gonna be using this one I'm gonna be using this one this one and this one say group oh, I will choose this group hold shift and select all the icon to the align middle and I give them a all the height of 30 like I'll make sure I will like the asset ratio so 30 so we can have a height of 30 all of them press enter so this is a 30 by 30, 30 by 30, 30 by 30, and 30 by 30. Set that right here from the top right here. I will choose 20 pixels or so. I hold shift the down arrow key between one, two. So 20 pixels from the title right here. And now we duplicate this one again. So I say Control J we duplicate it. I bring it down here. I just go one, two, twenty pesos again from the icon. I got this one graphic design. And for this one, it will be thirty pixels. Again, regular.
I bring it back up again. One, two. And now I will control J again to duplicate it. Bring it down. And this time it will be this section right here. So 120 cost 3218 CD. Is that one to light weight and then eighteen pixels or so eighteen? Very small, so we zoom in a little bit so you can see. And this one again, 20. So, one, two. I will choose the icon and change color to be this bright orange. So, we have this. I will select these two and I copy them so I can do it for the rest. And then select this. One. Sorry. I will copy this, copy this, and then get the icon right here. So I get through the icon and select these two, so these three. Control J to group them. Now I'll go back here and tap this. I paste again. And this time it will be web development and uh, 180 cost 6218 and again change the color and select it so the session so the alignment make sure we are all aligned to left and up some space vertical space and now we choose and check the auto auto distribute and choose 20 so make sure it's 20 and then control j again control g to group them later right here now but uh, this one right here, I paste again to get this. There will be finance. Again, for the cost, be 105. One second right here. I forgot to put S on the. Finance. And then one of five, five courses, and a student seven eighteen, seven hundred eighteen student. And then I change the color again. And then select this and copy and line left for the call and twenty. Apply group control G now for the last one it's called marketing AD courses student is a uh, 1480 And we change the color, select everything, align left, vertical, and then 
20. Click apply. Control G to group it. Now everything is grouped. So what we do, choose this one and choose the first one. So I select all of them. I will choose the bottom action and line bottom. Apply. I bring it all the way down, all of this down. Touch right here. I choose this last one. Bring it all the way right here. Then I need to move a 50 pixel to the left. So I hold shift, press the back arrow key, the left arrow key. So it will be do by 10, increment by 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then I will select each one of these. Go to alignment and horizontal space horizontally. Space so space them out. And bring the category down here. But I had move it 20 up. So shift one, two. Bring this right here. And move it 180 pixel to the top. So one, two, three. That's 140, 150, 60, 70, 80. So that's this session right here. Now we go to the sign up session. So first we need the sign up title. So we copy the Tab category with this one right here. Copy this control. Copy. Control C and then click inside the sidebar. Right here. Or oh, V for paste. Let's see right here. Bring it up here. The 50 from the top and 50 from the right. So we say sign up. Okay, now after I sign up, we need to form input. So we grab a rectangle tool right here and then create an input view. be like 60 pixels for the height and then I will give it no fill and for the border to be did up white and two two pixels and we copy this one control J to duplicate it and bring it right here and I say email address I will change from regular to light and 18 and I bring it here and I move it to pixel, 20 pixel from the right from the left sorry one two and now we select the um, input and choose the middle to align the as one vertically so i say control g to group it and then control j get one for our password again 20 pixel down shift one two and this one we say password Actually, I would say create a secure password. After that, this uh, right here, I'll create a button. It's good. Shoot my rectangle again. So 20. 
this one, something like this. Had to be 70. Now I want no border. And for the fill, I want this primary to dark blue. Round it, small round it to be, I would say, absolute. And then want to be 6 pixels. I use my text tool and red over sign up. I'll be regular twenty. Actually, let me put it to uh, 22, maybe 22, or 22, small, and then center, middle, and we group this together. So the sign up session finish, and the tap instructor session. So what we do first is choose this control and choose this sign up rectangle right here, control J to group all of them together. I say sign up. Now the tap instructor. Again, I will choose this sign up title right here. Copy and come down here and paste and drag it right here. Now I need 50 pixels from the top, so shape 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 50 and 50 out from the top. Tap and stroke the. Now I need a create a rectangle right here that will hold the images. And it will be. 100 pixel for the width and then 100 pixel for the height for the height for the border of 6 pixel and then again I will put the image inside here so I choose this set this option right here and I choose my image so I'm going to be using this image it's a huge image so I will set the height to be 200 now we scale it from the center so we choose the transform from center right here the center I had image I will scale it down a little bit more bring it back That's the image. Then we need a name, a little bit more information about them, about the users. So we copy, get this one because it's using the same font side and styling. So we this, come here and paste it, drag it here. Twenty pixel from the image. So one, two, and our name is this one if you're wondering where I get the name from I use a, a tool online called fake name generator and that's where I get them from and we choose this styling right here Come here, paste it, and we see eight courses. This instructor has eight courses and has one hundred fifty thousand six hundred eighteen students. Now we shift 
shift G, control J to duplicate this and get down and I will say profile profile this will be regular will be regular with regular I choose this color give it underline make it like a link I will grab it it should be online to left and vertical that's always 20 again say apply control G to group them and then select this one and the image control G don't group them again so I cut this one one and then control right click duplicate bring it down one two for our second instructor I will double click to get the image and say replace image it will be this one right here this one and bring his image down a little bit and our name will be Eric B Holden and he has uh, five courses not 85, 5, that's 5, 5 courses, and 125,618 students, so that's Eric, it will be 2, now again, control J, or duplicate, I call this 3, head down one two and our third instructor will be this one Cindy T Cuffs Cuffs and she has 12 courses oh one second I forgot a count This uh, one hundred twenty thousand six hundred eighteen. Now let me change the image, and it'll be this image right here. And then the last one. Say four and drag it down. One, two, and it will be Joe. Okay, and, be, and he has ten courses, uh, seventy eight thousand. 618 student and let's change the image into this guy right here so I will grab all of this with the session right here called instructor group them together actually for this one I will drag it from here down here yeah. now I go I tap tap instructor
so that's it let me remove the guide right here right? view and select this and show guide so this is the end result of it next week we code this one up using CSS flexbox so next week this is the coded version that we will do the next video let's see again i hope you like this tutorial and thank you for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial bye